It is okay to laugh. It is okay to joke within limits. It is okay to smile. It is okay to be easygoing. Because if you truly have the Lord Jesus in your heart, you cannot but smile and be happy and easygoing. I can assure you. Okay. Even when it comes to partnership, we need to ask for the Lord's will to be done. Not because I love this person, that's it, I'm not going to give up. Yeah, it's nice to love a person, not give up, but you need to pray at the same time and say, Lord, let it be your will. Because what I know is not what you know. And what is good for me, nobody knows more than you. You are the good God and you are the only one who brings good things to his children. So Lord, I love this person. I've sent the message to this person through this good looking bishop. But at the end of the day, I say, Lord, let it be your will. And if I'm not going to marry this person, I'm going to blame. Uh, no, no. I'm going to blame the bishop, I was going to say. This is me. And this is the way the Lord made me in a way. I can be serious, but I don't like to being serious all the time. Because life cannot go being serious all the time. It's okay to joke. Even if it's a bishop, it's okay. Sometimes people will misunderstand that. That's okay because people will always be people. That's fine. No hard feelings. No, nothing except red belt later on. Doesn't matter. So people can say whatever. It's okay. But at the end of the day, it is okay to laugh. It is okay to joke within limits. It is okay to smile. It is okay to be easygoing because if you truly have the Lord Jesus in your heart, you cannot but smile and be happy and easygoing. I can assure you, Christ is very easygoing. He is very complex, but in his complexity, he is very simple. He is God. You can never fully understand him. But when he comes and talks to you, he'll talk your level. You can relate to him. You're not going to see somebody, whoa, he's too far and too big for me. No, he will say, hello, how are you? Can I get you something? Oh, um, by the way, my name is Jesus. What's your name? Would you like to be my friend? Will you give me your hand? I'm here to help you. Is that okay? It's very nice. I don't like complicated Christians. Like they suffocate. Everything is, yes sir, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, relax, man. Sometimes they startle you. How are you? Thank God. Oh, relax, man. I just said, oh. Are you okay? Everything is good. I serve the good God. What a liar. You know why you serve the good God? You're, you're, not, you're not good at all. Relax. When you look at the church fathers, the true saints, the true saints, they never showed. They were very simple, very humble. You probably, you would mistake them for a street beggar, but they raised dead people. They raised dead people. They're simple people. Because with Christ, there is no complications. Ah. And like they put everything under the microscope. Everything you say, it's detected. Even worse than an MRI and a CT scan. Relax, brother. Relax. One day, <laughs> I, saw this, uh, I saw this kind of a dream or a vision. I just want to tell you one thing about the Lord's humor. Sense of humor. I was walking somewhere and anyway I got there there was everything was white there was a white table the one sitting behind the white table was dressed up in white and it was the Lord and there was a white cupboard behind him everything was white and then he got up when I approached he got up and said ah oh, you finally made it so he had a he had a he had a shirt in his hand he just put it on me like that and he dressed me with it and it was fit like tight fit when I was young I know I'm still young, but when I was younger, 
When I was young, I used to have my shirts very baggy, like XXX, XX large, because I never liked tight shirts, always baggy. I was very skinny. I didn't want to look skinny, so I wanted to be a little bit chubby. So I used to ask my mom, please get me baggy shirts, double XL. So the Lord put that shirt on me, and it was fit, tight fit. And look at me, dumb. I said, oh, it's, it's tight. Like I'm whinging. He's dressing me in white and I'm whinging. I said, it's tight. He said, oh, wait. He opens the cupboard <laughs> behind him. There was only one shirt in that entire cupboard. It was empty except one shirt. He takes it out and he shows me the collar. XXL. He said, but he didn't put it on me. He said, take it. When I woke up, I kept on thinking, why, 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 why? And then the Lord made me realize. He says, I have a good sense of humor. I know what you like. I'll go even as far as what kind of a shirt you like to wear, and I'll get it for you. Wow. I think of things you don't think of. You may be wear the shirt and you throw it, you don't even look at it. But I care because I love you. I care even about what you wear and what you like to wear. I care. So I preserved it for you because I knew you were going to say that. I'm God. I know what you're going to say before you say it. If you haven't been in the situation between being destruct, destroyed and being reconstructed, you'll never understand who the Lord is. You'll never understand who the Lord is. Do you think you will know the Lord because you went to university and you got your PhD in theology? Are you kidding me? You think this made you now know who Jesus Christ is? Satan will use you like a soccer ball. You need to live with the Lord. Not go to a university and study about the Lord. What is this? You need to live the Lord. You need to live Him.